you need a trailer fabrication or a rig fabrication or anything that helps you work better on a fabrication, please call and schedule a meeting with us. We would love to help you. And as you can see, we're pretty well versed in anything that we can do, whether it's open trailer, closed trailer, whether it's a truck, a flatbed, anything that you might need, we can help you do that. So call today, schedule an appointment. Let's get you going, working more efficiently. It takes more than pressure to get the job done. I'm Jonathan with TKIM. Follow along as we get the down and dirty on how to save money, finish faster, and be a successful pressure washing pro. First of all, we'll talk about the trailer. It's an Adams trailer, it's aluminum. I'm gonna give a special thanks to uh, trailers of the East Coast and Moxville. Josh Waller's the gentleman that sold it to us. Um, did a great job, a great product. We just wanna give a shout out to that. But what we decided to do with this is the client needed hot water. Um, so what we used is a Mighty M hot water unit. It's 3,500 PSI, um, pumps about 5.6 gallons a minute. Hot water, it's got an hour meter, it's got adjustable thermostat, all the good things that are needed. It's got a generator on it, so that way it's all self-sustained. As you can tell, it's a pretty clean um, install. So what we did was, is we decided just to mount it on the front, run it with, a, with the basic water tank, clear bowl filter, on and off. Here on the side, we've got a, a point that they can actually antifreeze the unit for weatherproofing. Then if we come on back here to the back, you can see where they just needed a single hose reel, 150 foot of hose. Um, that way it can exit off the back of the trailer. They can actually work off the side of the trailer as well. Um, that way everything's pretty well self-sustained. Gives quite a bit of room here for growth in the future as well. This particular client's gonna use these on a dedicated lot. It's not really gonna go off-road. It's gonna mainly stay in that lot. So they didn't need a whole lot of extra things on it. Just a basic, simple build. Both of them mirror each other. Um, that way we've got everything here that they need. So here what we've done is they're washing trucks, fleets, dump trucks, trash trucks, um, over the road, tankers, things of that nature. Um, so all they really needed was a hot water pressure washer. There's no surface cleaning, there's no vertical surfaces other than on, on a truck, there's no roof cleaning where on a typical guy that's doing, that's doing um, house washing, um, residential cleaning, those kind of things, they might have a soft wash system, might want a little bit bigger tank. Um, they're also going to have a smaller tank for chemical use where here all they're doing is using their tank for water and on the other side, we'll look, um, they've got a, what we call a double barrel wand. So what they're doing here is their soap injector is gonna be downstream. They'll feed off of a bucket, as opposed to feeding off of tanks that you have on the trailer. Um, so that way, that's why this is pretty clean. There's no surface cleaners. There's no soft wash systems. This is just a single hot water unit, all enclosed here, um, solely for the purpose of washing fleets. So that's, that's really, they don't need ladder racks. They don't need any, you know, they're not, they're gonna be a stationary work environment where when you have a residential, you're, you might be working off the right-hand side off a curb, off the left-hand side, you might need to work off the back in a driveway, all those things that you might need there. Here, it's pretty well stationary. That's the way we've set it up the way we have. The customer came to us and requested an all aluminum trailer, which isn't normal. Um, most trailers are steel-based with wood platform, but they wanted, they wanted an all-aluminum trailer for, for being lightweight. Um, then they just gave specs on a hot water unit, kind of gave us gallons per minute. That was really it. So what we did is we recommended Mighty M as part of the process in design. Um, and then what we did was just kind of mock it up based on weight, travel, weight on the tongue, have your water adjacent over top of the axle. That way, if it is full, it's not gonna put a lot of pressure on the, on, the, um, on the axle. Axle ratings here are 3,200, which is sufficient for what they're using it for. But what we do for this is as we've set it up, the unit itself comes with warranties, um, up to a year warranty on certain items. Then what we do is we typically will care for it, kind of maintain it for these customers. One of these trailers is actually gonna, is going to a different state. So that'll be a little bit more difficult to maintain, but we still keep in contact with those customers and work through any issues that might be there. Um, we're a warranty center for Mighty M, 
So anything that can be done that is in warranty, we will actually do that for them or in coordination with someone that might do if it's not here locally. Um, and then we just kind of, we give a 90 bit, a, kind of a 90 day warranty. No, no bad job is the way we look at it. So if a piece of plumbing cracks, something along those lines, you know, we'll, we'll replace that for you. Just kind of take it as a case by case basis. But that way, at least we give the customer some sort of good feeling when they leave, knowing that the trailer, if something's not right, will make it right. So in a trailer fabrication, what we, what we like to do is on the website, you'll see there's a call to schedule a trailer fabrication design. Um, so you call in, we kind of have a brief phone conversation. Then we, were, we would like for you guys to come in. Um, let's sit down. Let's look what we actually have on the yard, kind of talk through the process of what best fits your needs. Then what we can do is we'll start with the base. We start with a trailer. Is it dual axle? Is it single axle? What kind of weight are you going to be doing? How far are you traveling? All those conversations that are needed for a good quality base. Is it square tubing? Is it round tubing? Do you need ladder racks? Do you need solid sides? All those things that you might think have already thought through, but if not, we can help you do that. Um, and once we establish the base, then what we'll do is talk about your needs. Do you need hot water, cold water? That really will take up a lot of space because as you can see with a hot water unit, it takes up the whole front area. Now we give you plenty of room around when we, when we design it out, but a hot water unit takes up a lot more footprint than a cold water unit. Then the next conversation we'll have with you is, do you need a secondary system? Do you need a soft wash? Are you surface cleaning? What kind of chemical are you using? Um, all those things so we can help design the trailer to fit your needs so when you pull up, you're ready to roll. You know, you just, you pull up, you pull your, your hoses off and you're working right away. There's no unpacking, repacking. We want everything set up to fit your needs so that way you're working more efficiently because working more efficiently is gonna make you more money. Remember guys, like this video if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and let us help you save money, finish faster, and become a successful pressure washing pro.